Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we will talk about Check Inventory API. So to get the stock details of the product, you will need to call the Check Inventory endpoint and you can pass the product ID or the SKU of the order items in the filters. Next, we will see about the payload parameters. So as payload, we can pass filters, field to select, sort by, view index, view size and ATP. ATP is the total quantity of items based on the condition and fields to select fields. So in filters, either we have to pass product ID or SKU. Filters is the required parameter. Uh, rest is all are the optional parameters. Next, we will see about the response. So, uh, the response returns the inventory count at a particular facility if facility is provided in the filters or returns count at all the facilities. If we want stock of a specific product, then we can find like this. In filters, I have provided that product ID and in return, I want the product ID and ATP and in response, we can see that we are getting the quantity or the stock of that particular product. Then if we want the ATP or the quantity of multiple product, then we can pass multiple product IDs like this and in response, we will get the ATP or the quantity of that multiple products. Similarly, if we want to know that in a specific store, what is the stock of a specific product, so we can pass the product ID like this and then we can pass facility like this and in return, we will get the total ATP of that product in that facility ID. We, if we want to know that in a specific store, what is the stock of multiple product? So similarly, we can pass multiple product IDs in the, uh, in the filters and facility ID. And then in return, we will get all the product IDs that we have passed along with its ATP. If we want multiple stores having the stock of a specific product, then we can pass multiple facility ID like this, one product ID and in return we will get ATP of that product in multiple facilities. Next we can also find that how, what is the stock of multiple products in multiple stores. So we can pass multiple product IDs like this and multiple facility IDs like this and we will get response like this having multiple facilities in that facilities we will it will search out that particular product and its ATP uh, after this we will see what uh, how we can pass the sort by parameter so I have passed a sort by parameters with value product ID and I want it to be sorted on the basis of ascending order. So the product ID is sorted in ascending order and similarly the products are arranged. Now I want this to be uh, sorted on the basis of ATP so I will replace the product ID with ATP like this. And the response is sorted on the basis of ATP in ascending order. Similarly, we can also sort it according to the facility ID as well. Just replace, replace it with facility ID and in response we will get sorted facility ID in ascending order. Next, I will be uh, showing an uh, example of how this check inventory is used in uh, Ionic app. So basically, this, uh, this is a page, orders page. In this, I have used the check inventory to fetch the stock details of this product. So we have passed some field to select and in product, in fil filters, we have passed product ID and ATP.
सी वी हैव पास पेलोड एस फिल्टर्स एंड वी वॉन्ट फील्ड्स टू सिलेक्ट और वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले द प्रोडक्ट आई डी एंड ए टी पी सो वी हैव पास दैम इन द पेलोड एंड वी हैव यूज द चेक इन्वेंट्री ए पी आई लाइक दिस सो दिस ब्रिंग्स अप टू द रैप अप ऑफ आर वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो